Hi everyone, welcome into Siren Records Monterey. It's Fresh Catch Friday. Uh, if you're new here, we discuss on show um, some of the new vinyl that just came out today. Um, new new releases and reissues that were, um, you know, Friday new releases and some stragglers that were maybe out a couple of weeks ago but have only now just made its way through down the um, down the pipeline with the you know everything being slower and. Uh, you know how it goes. Well, anyway, so I always start out with picks of the week. So I'm here for you on Fridays, trying to just uh, let you know um, a handful of different across the board, different genres, new stuff. Okay. So um, for my pick this week, that's uh, actually King Cuddy, Man on the Moon 3. Um, this is The Chosen. Um, it's on the Republic label, and this is, after 10 years, one of the greatest trilogies of hip hop gets its final chapter here. Um, this is Kid Cudi. He unveils this anxiously awaited seventh full length album, and it's the third installment of this uh, legendary Man on the Moon series. So, this one again, Man on the Moon 3, The Chosen. It's out on Republic Records, as I said, and uh, he's returned. It's 18 new songs such as a show out that features Papa Smoke and Skepta and Lovin' Me, which features Phoebe Brogers and Rockstar Nights, which features Trippy Red. This is two LPs and um, wow, pretty exciting. It kind of snuck up on me. I wasn't expecting this to uh, be in and uh, I don't know why, maybe I didn't see that it was on the upcoming um, release list. But anyway, if you're into it already, you're going to be real happy about this one. So here for you now, okay? Now the other thing that I just found that um, I love this. This is various artists uh, kill rock stars. Um, it's the 30th anniversary of uh, this compilation on this label, and it's all bands that were on the Kill Rock Stars label, and um, it's also on a limited edition clear vinyl. So anyway, this came out in August of 1991, and it's uh, you know like I said, various artists that were on the Kill Rock Stars label. And um, the, it was reissued on vinyl in limited quantities for a record store day exclusive in 2011 and has not been available again until now for their 30th anniversary. And it's got wonderful bands on it. It's got the Melvins, it's got um, Fits of Depression, it's got Bikini Kill, it's got Witchy Poo, um, Nirvana, um, Courtney Love, Bratmobile, Unwound, and even Jad Fair. So, Wow, all cool bands, all good stuff. And so that is definitely worth your time in trouble if you're into that scene of the Kill Rock Stars um, bands. Great, great stuff. And it's so nice that you can get it on vinyl again now. Okay, so let's go through. There's a few new and a few reissues out for you today. Again, here, what is it with this guy? Joe Bonamassa, uh, Time Clocks, two LPs. This is on the... Uh, let's see, Junior Adventures label. So this is, you know, he's a blues rock legend. We kind of talked about him last week because there was another, yet another live album. You know, again, like I said, I'm not knocking the guy. Just like, how, how many records do you have to release like in a year? Dude, slow down, you know? Um, anyway, this is recorded in New York City in March of 2021. It introduces elements of uh, prog and hard rock in to intensify his signature blues rock style on this one. Uh, Co-writers include Charlie Starr, who is from Blackberry Smoke, um, Bernie Marsden from White Snake, and James House and Tom Hambridge, who help elevate the storytelling to a whole new level. Okay, so this is a deluxe, it's transparent gold vinyl with a 20 page art booklet. So if you're still looking to yet beef up your Joe Bonamassa collection even more, that's here for you. Okay, then we have this one um, is actually kind of a uh, Man, we've had so many pre-orders for this. This is the Bo Burnham Inside LP. And this is on Bo Burnham Imperial. That's the label. Um, two LPs. Okay, so this is the critically acclaimed soundtrack for the Netflix musical comedy special that was called Inside. And this is double vinyl. It features all the music from Inside, including All Eyes on Me, Welcome to the Internet, and Bezos, and Bezos, I guess. 
Um, it was shot and performed by Bo Burnham alone over the course of a very unusual quarantine year. It was nominated for six Emmys, including Best Variety Series, Writing, Directing, Song, Musical Direction, and Editing. It's on standard weight vinyl, and it's in gatefold packaging. Now, uh, with, when this first was announced, um, like I said, with pre-orders, it was supposed to be black vinyl and clear Coke bottle vinyl. Well, again, um, the vinyl for the indie exclusive the coke bottle clear has been pushed back now until march first they said no we're just not going to do it at all now they're saying in march so again you got to blame adele she's the one putting the uh, clog in the pipeline here um but anyway overall this album uh, i think it's one of those albums that you had to be there like if you haven't seen the netflix special i'm not sure this is going to really resonate with you i think in a way part of the appeal of this is seeing it and you know how talented um he is and and what he created but if you're just having the uh, the record on i don't know if you can appreciate it quite as much so anyway netflix inside watch that and then Maybe you'll want this. But anyway, here for you on Black Vinyl at long last. And uh, so you can come get that and uh, hang out until March for the uh, Coke Bottle Clear. Okay, next up. This is Bill Charlotte Trio, Street of Dreams. This is on Blue Note. And um, okay, this is a Grammy winning pianist, Bill Charlotte. So he's returning to Blue Note with this new album that features two of his, uh, these, um, other guys that make up the trio the bassist is peter washington and the drummer is kenny washington um this is a stunning new set it presents the great american songbook alongside uh songs by jazz great jazz composers including billy strayhorn duke ellington and kenny burrell so the trio was formed in 1997 and began recording a series of albums for blue note um in 2000 that and it's firmly really established them as one of the leading jazz um acts out there right now okay next okay so this is the return of elbow and this is called flying dream one um this is on virgin music international so this is their ninth studio album and uh, they wrote the record remotely at their home studios um before coming together um at the empty brighton theater royal to per perfect perform and record this and um it's all new material and the, the songs are they're, they're in the same kind of lullaby like vein of uh, 2020's acoustic album live at the ritz that i know we've talked about that before too now the thing i really love about elbow this singer guy garvey he's got just such a distinctive voice i think it's beautiful and it's like you could pick him out of anywhere you know it, very very distinct and um i'm thinking that like some of the um fans that were um like the the like more of the heavier stuff like um grounds for divorce from 2008 that kind of a vibe it's not like that but it's still really very good this is a very quiet album and it's a uh, you know very introspective and storytelling and it's just a uh, i thought it was beautiful it sounded really good it's on green vinyl limited edition but like i said um if you're into the like the dexter and sinister was the album with um uh that sort of harkened back to that grounds of divorce for grounds for divorce sound that really was a good tune um you might be disappointed by this it's a very quiet and understated album but if you want to uh um have the like if you like their more recent acoustic work you might really enjoy this but anyway like i said that that vocal that guy he's great so that always attracts me to elbow i always just really enjoy his voice so much okay so this next up is exodus and this is persona non grata two lps okay this is on nuclear blast america double vinyl pressing these guys are like the undisputed uh masters of thrash metal they're returning here with their 11th studio album um it's their first studio album since blood in blood out in 2014 and it's their second to feature vocalist steve, steve zetro susa since he returned to the band that same year 
Um, for decades, Exodus has impressed us with the ability to attract like opposing um, factions to their music because it's very versatile. And so, you know, it's not just thrash metal heads. They kind of have an audience of all kinds of people. Um, but anyway, they went to Tom Hunting's house up in the mountains and uh, they avoided the need to book studio time and uh, adhere to a schedule. So they were just working from three home built studios to create this. And uh, this uh, they recorded Persona Non Grata themselves. And this here is limited to 3,500 copies. It's a red and mustard swirl with black splatter vinyl. So there you go, the return of Exodus. Okay, this is um, Irreversible Entanglements, Open the Gates, two LPs. This is on International Anthem Recording Company. So this is very ethereal, dynamic, and expansive free jazz meditations. It's very powerful and accessible, like free form jazz. Um, there's a vocalist, this uh, Kame Aewa. Gosh, I hope I'm saying her name correctly. But anyway, she's better known. Her stage name is Moore Mother. You remember we talked about that last week too. Um, she's an American poet, musician, and activist from Philadelphia. Um, she's one half of the collective Black Quantum Futurism, along with Rashida Phillips, and co-leads the group Irreversible Entanglements doing spoken word on it. And her voice is like this force bringing together all these elements of the music into this like a cohesive whole. It's really, really well done. It's really good. And uh, this is on Amber Smoke Vinyl. It's a double and um, wow, pretty great. So yeah, she's pretty talented. She's got her finger in a lot of different pies and uh, kind of uh, find that pretty impressive. Okay, next up, this is Lil Baby and Lil Dirk. That's the funny thing about rap that we always say. It's always Lil somebody or Big somebody. Isn't that funny? Big or Lil. And these two are two Lils. Lil Baby and Lil Dirk, the voice of the heroes. Two LPs on the quality control label. Lil Baby and Lil Dirk, they've unleashed their long-awaited, highly anticipated album. The voice of the heroes um, with Atlanta and Chicago rap giants teaming up for this supercharged project which features the likes of Travis Scott. I don't know if that's like a, a good thing these days, but I don't know if I'd be, I don't know. Um, Meek Mill, Young Thug, and Rod Wave. So that's here now too. I don't know these days if Travis Scott is a real selling point. You know, just saying. Okay, next up, this is Demi Lovato, Dancing with the Devil, The Art of Starting Over. Also two LPs, there's a lot of doubles out this week. This is on the Island label. Okay, so uh, Demi Lovato has released their seventh album, Dancing with the Devil, The Art of Starting Over. The album serves as a companion piece to Lovato's YouTube Originals documentary, Demi Lovato, Dance, Dancing with the Devil, excuse me. The album and documentary see Demi sharing the story of their near, their near fatal overdose in 2018 for the first time, as well as giving a glimpse into their life today and the path to healing. So it's a deeply personal album. Um, it's executive produced by Lovato and their manager, Scooter Braun. Now, uh, Scooter Braun is the guy that totally like ripped Taylor Swift off from her publishing. So I'd say you want to be careful if you got that guy involved with you. I'm just saying. Watch your publishing, girl. Okay, next is Maroon 5. This is Jordy, and it's on Interscope, and it's the seventh studio album by this American band, Maroon 5. Um, it was released um, in June of 2021. Um, and the album features guest appearances from Megan Thee Stallion, Black Bear, Stevie Nicks, Bantu, Her, YG, and the late rappers Juice World and Nipsey Hussle were also featured on this. And it is on pink vinyl, and that's here for you now too. Okay, now this, this one um, is very frustrating to me, and I'll tell you why. Excellent work from Gregory Porter called Still Rising, it's on Blue Note. Uh, it's his new release and it's an exquisite collection of like musical delights, it's wonderful. But the LP features seven tracks. 
while the digital version and the CD have 34 tracks. Um, you know, covers, duets, holiday music, etc. So what in the fuck, Blue Note? Like, why people with um, vinyl, you only get seven tracks. This guy's voice is amazing. He's so good. And um, very unhappy with, uh, with that for a vinyl release. When uh, digitally and, and uh, on CD, there's, there's so much to choose from. You just get seven poxy little tracks on this one. And uh, while they're good, I mean, like, yeah, he's wonderful. I don't know what they're doing. You know, Blue Note is not typically a label to shy away from deluxe versions of any kind. But, you know, I don't know what to say about that. Found it very frustrating. Okay, this is Santport Ocean Tales. This is on the label Friends of Friends. Uh, okay, Santport is also known as Julian Meir. And uh, he takes on this nostalgic journey with his new Ocean Tales LP, explores themes of isolation and far from loved ones experienced um, by him. And he's a Netherlands born, but Sydney based musician. Um, this is filled with nature infused grooves, bright melodies and head in the clouds vocals. Uh, this is new album that chronicles the next chapter in his story. So, uh, Kind of like some of those other artists that we, you know, we seem to have a couple of them every week. These um, these people with um, their quarantine albums, their offerings of what they did on a quarantine. Not, I don't want to say vacation, but isolation, right? Okay, and this, wow, this is weird. This is Shaggy, Christmas in the Islands. It's on BMG Rights Management US. 19 tracks for Island Influenced Christmas, if that's what you're into. This is Vinyl Edition. It's a 2020 holiday album of reggae dance hall artist Shaggy. This quintessential reggae Christmas themed collection puts a Caribbean twist on traditional Christmas cheer with island infused holiday songs. Okay, there's guest performances here from Beanie Man, Joss Stone, Bounty Killer, Junior Reed, Neo and others. So it includes new original music as well as modern reggae covers of things like Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas, um, I'll Be Home for Christmas and uh, other holiday favorites. So yeah, if you're looking for, um, you know, island themed holiday music, there you go. All right, and then this is Cigarettes. And gosh, can I say this without butchering it? Um, Agatis Brigian. Anyway, the second studio album by this Icelandic post-rock band, Cigarettes. The album was recorded between the summer of 1998 and the spring of 1999. Um, it's very much, um, they changed their sound. What was their first record, gosh, I want to I wanna say Vox, something like that. Uh, it's escaping me for the moment. But anyway, that, you know, people liked it, but it didn't sell that much. Anyway, um, they came back and changed up their sound completely. And it's like mostly major key, like uh, strings, horns, um, you know, very like surging, massive sound. And a lot of like, um, a lot of melodrama kind of sound to it anyway. It's a global phenomenon. This is the 20th anniversary of that record and it's back in print again for you now. Okay, this. Okay, here we go. Sly and the Family Stone. This is on Sony Legacy. There's a riot going on and this was the fifth studio album by this American funk and soul um, band, Sly and the Family Stone. It was recorded in from 1970 to 1971 in, at the Record Plant um, Studios in Sausalito, California. So it was later released that year. This is the 50th anniversary. It's a very influential psychedelic funk masterpiece, this, because, uh, you know, the songs on it are all um, amazing. It, uh, and it's on limited edition red vinyl. So that is a good one. And it's got a real cool kind of collage on the back as well. So great stuff. Beautiful. Wow. Okay, next up. This is Dr. Lonnie Smith. It's called Breathe, and it's on Blue Note. And this, he's an acclaimed organist, Dr. Lonnie Smith. He's released his new album, Breathe, here. It features a combination of live and studio tracks. Um, it's 
He's a Hammond B3 specialist, and this is uh, his third album with Blue Note. Um, and since returning to the label in 2016, nearly 50 years after he gained prominence um, with them in the 60s. So now he's back, and it looks like, you know, kind of a uh, little more deluxe than they gave uh, poor, poor old Gregory Porter. So you know, I guess you gotta, you gotta rate somehow. I'm very bitter about that. Okay, this is Sun Ra. This is called Omniverse, and this is on Modern Harmonic. Um, it's recorded in New York in 1979, and if you know anything about Sun Ra, my God, what a productive artist. This guy has like an absolute canon of material, and uh, this is, you know, something else that's just coming back into print. It's a very solid and overlooked set, um, and the tracks aren't so much compositions, they are more like excursions. And this comes to you on this very kind of inky bluish purple opaque vinyl color. So anyway, another Trippy Sun Ra record. I, would, I don't even know how many Sun Ra records there are. I should look that up on Google sometime because I cannot believe what a huge catalog the guy has. It's incredible. All right, this is uh, Thulchandra, A Dying Wish. This is on Napalm Records. Um, this is a Swedish death metal the veteran band, um, Thulchandra. So they're back. Um, this is, uh, they released their fourth studio album here after six years of silence. And um, it's a detailed album that combines uh, like clashing guitars and epic mid-tempo moments, discreet acoustic guitars. It's really, you know, got some, um, it's not just all thrashing away. It's got some quieter moments on it too, but then it goes into these rapid outbursts. It, it, it's a very versatile, very rich sound that they've achieved on this one. Um, and it's very technically proficient. I mean, they've been knocking around a long time. They know what they're doing. Uh, it's keeping this uh, tradition very alive and worthy. So there you go. Okay, this is a new seven inch Eddie Vedder, Long Way. It's on the Republic label. And this is a seven inch of his new tracks, The Long Way and The Haves is on the B side. Both are tracks that are off of his forthcoming solo album uh, that's gonna be called Earthling and that's to be released in 2022. So if you want a little taster, there you go. All right, now this is WH Lung. This is called Vanities on the Melodic label. This is a Manchester synth rock quintet, WH Lung. This is the follow-up to their acclaimed 2019 debut album, Incidental Music. Um, so Vanities has a, it, it doc, as a whole, it, it documents the period of flux for this group in which they lost um, a member to a move and were drawn to the inclusive community of dance music. And, um, you know, where their first record sort of relied on blending post-punk and krautrock guitars with a uh, synth pop. Um, Vanities, it, it calls upon more synth sounds and dance punk-like LCD sound system. It's like that kind of stuff. So they've changed up their sound a little bit too to swing with the times and um, there you go. Uh, now we have Ween. And this is at the Cat's Cradle in 1992. And this comes to us from ATO. Um, it's from the vaults. Um, it captures the original two-man band, Dean and Gene Ween, and some samples, tapes, and a drum machine. And it was originally a CD, DVD um, release, and now it's on vinyl for the first time. And this is pressed on milky clear vinyl. So yeah, some of these... Uh, Things are digging deep into the vaults today. Uh, next up, this is also Ween, God Ween Satan Live from ATO. Um, this is the seventh live album of Ween. And it's uh, released on, it was released originally, November of 2016 on Chaka Dog Records. Um, it's two discs chronicling a performance from John and Peters in New Hope, Pennsylvania in September, um, in which Ween played their first album, God Ween Satan, The Oneness, in its entirety for its 11th anniversary re-release. Did you get that? <laughs> okay. It's two LPs, red vinyl with blue splatter and blue with red splatter. And it also comes with an MP3 download. Okay. So live, 
uh, God Ween Satan. It's the live version when they played God Ween Satan, the oneness in its entirety. Okay, that's what you're getting there. Okay, this is Brian Wilson at my piano, and this is on the DECA label. It consists of nothing but instrumental renditions of the best known tunes from his songbook. Um, it's his classic hits reimagined for solo piano, stuff like God Only Knows, Good Vibrations, California Girls, Love and Mercy, Wouldn't It Be Nice, Don't Worry Baby, that kind of stuff. So anyway, um, the, the sort of uh, consensus is that it feels a little anonymous and empty and uh, it's, well, you know, it's, it's a cool thing, but it's just, uh, those songs need more. They really do. So anyway, this is, World is a Beautiful Place and I Am No Longer Afraid to Die, Illusory Walls on Epitaph, and uh, the fourth studio album by the American Emo Band, written and recorded remotely during the pandemic, of course. <laughs> It's their first album to be to prominently employ an outside co-producer, this guy Greg Thomas, and it's the first to feature just one main guitarist. It's that's down from three that they normally have, and it's the most technically proficient and hard hard hitting music in their discography, but at the cost of kind of um, intimacy and warmth from from previous releases so limited edition clear vinyl you have to take a listen see what you think um next up we have x ambassadors the beautiful liar this is on interscope um so the actual songs are fine not much of a difference from the previous couple of albums which is you know it's not good and it's not a bad thing either um this is their sound but it's like in the middle of songs they've got these like intros and cutaways and skits and non-songs and it's very unnecessary and distracting um from the flow of the album so anyway i think this too i want to say is this on Colored vinyl, I thought it was, but I'm not seeing anything here to indicate that. I could be wrong. But anyway, um, yeah, X Ambassadors. Don't, don't know that one. You tell me. All right. This, we talked about it before. I think there was a box now. This is the double LP of Frank Zappa, 200 Motels on Zappa Records. Uh, 50th anniversary of the 1971 soundtrack album features all original packaging uh, including the booklet and the poster um, it's got a brand new remaster here from the legend Bernie Grundman pressed on 180 black vinyl two LPs and um, yeah so you don't have to just uh, um, shell out for that box set now you can get it this way okay now here we are this is I'm hoping that I'm pronouncing the name right. Zo, I'm, I think it's Zo. It's Z-O-E, but it's got a an accent. Um, well, anyway, Sonidos de Carmatica, and this is on EMI Latin, it, and it's a uh, it's a new album from these Latin Grammy-winning Mexican rock band Zo. Um, it's not only the most mature album of their career, but also it's a creative turning point, um, a work that will define a new era of the Zo sound. Uh, now, I'm not familiar with Zoe, so I just have to take it as it comes. This is uh, two LPs of black vinyl or two LPs of trans one, one translucent red and one opaque yellow disc in a gatefold sleeve. That's the deluxe um, version. Now, the thing about this is almost impossible to tell. Um, they look exactly alike, and... The, it, it's a double album, but the one with the black vinyl, it's not even a gatefold. It's like this, and theres it's got just two albums of the black vinyl in there. The, the way to tell, because there's no stickers or any kind of markings or anything on here, um, the gatefold, if you find the gatefold, you will know that's the one with the one translucent red and the one yellow disc. I'm just checking the barcodes here to see if they're the same. No, the barcodes are different as well. So if you come in to buy it and you really just like, can't figure it out, just have the guys shoot it with the gun and they and it'll tell you which one. But, you know, I just sometimes think if you're going to go for it and do these deluxe releases, you didn't give people a clue. This is just, you know, 
and I'm not really satisfied with the way that they just did the black vinyl two sleeves inside um, the, the, you know, the album jacket. Why not just go for a gatefold with that one too and call the deluxe the colored vinyl? I don't know. Well, anyway, they're, you know, supposedly new sound. They're a Grammy winning, you know, Mexican rock band. So maybe they've got like a new, um, new thing up their sleeve and um, you might enjoy that. Okay, so last week before Christmas, um, so any last minute stuff that, you know, you want to come in and get, like I said, open 10 to 4 every day, but next Thursday we are going to be open till 8 p.m. So we, that's our late night shopping for y'all, just so you can grab anything last minute, whether it's a new piece of vinyl or a gift certificate or, you know, some of the, some of the other stuff. Okay, so um, thanks for hanging in there with me and I uh, not sure if I'm gonna be able to do anything for you this coming Friday since it's um, Christmas Eve. I don't know, but anyway, if not, then I'll see you the following week, okay? Happy holidays.